so hello good morning so as you can see uh, the nifty chart uh, for daily time frame now yesterday as the rbi meet has already taken place so one of the event is over for the month of october uh, nothing great has happened uh, for the banking side as such uh, so there was no movement in bank nifty which was seen and neither yesterday there was no big movement in nifty either now seeing nifty uh, from a broader perspective there was a huge fall and then a quick bounce back was expected on nifty bounce back was expected but now the continuous bounce it can be seen and it is now above that level which we had tagged out for 9920 which is basically the higher level of uh, selling of moribuzu now ideally it uh, remained there and today again it opened a bit up in the gap up mode and it is trying to inch on the higher side now let us go and see on the weekly front has the structure changed or is it remaining the same of a quick bounce back which we have seen now on the weekly front uh, we are clear that the 9960 level is very crucial because after uh, one selling from the high the follow up selling had taken place around these levels so a quick bounce back was expected in nifty but a huge upside cannot be expected unless and until 9960 is not taken out and if it sustains above those levels or so so technically speaking uh, the month of october uh, at least till diwali or before the result nifty can remain a little range bound but getting into the result nifty might break up a break upside and we can basically see nifty inching higher again towards the original highs of 10130 odd mark so on the weekly front that structure seems to be a uh, little on the upside but our important level of 9960 remains crucial now seeing uh, on the daily front last 4 days nifty is opening gap up right there every day it is opening gap up and it is trying to inch higher in order to make new high now in this kind of setup it is always better to remain aside and not to trade because what will happen because of this strong rally on the upside the sell off which has taken place in the last expiry some of the people will start exiting their trades moment it start reaching higher so moment a correction comes in nifty and let's say from 9960 if it falls to around 9800 odd levels we would be buyer in nifty for a further breakout of this level in mid of october kind of stuff so right now we are not interested to trade as such in nifty uh, it looks uh, bullish but somewhere uh, around this 9960 mark a selling can come uh, so we need to be cautious around those levels and try to be aside rather than getting in and trading nifty on daily basis now on the 5 minute chart uh, as we were seeing and talking previously as well uh, on the 5 minute front right from morning if you see uh, it has basically opened a little bit of gap up right it tried to breach down and again it selling was taken place and then a continuous rise can be seen in nifty so in 5 minute terms uh, even yesterday there was a good pull up which took place uh, but important over here is to understand even if we put early basis in perspective uh, all we can see there was gap up sell off took place again there was gap up and again there was gap up and now it was around the important level of 9920 so this 9920 was very important Uh, and yesterday if you see it spent it has spent large amount of time around this 9920 level uh, today it basically opens a little bit up goes down but does not go below uh, the low of yesterday and then it inches higher so even if it inch higher our technical area of resistance is around this range of 9920 to 9960 level so let's wait and watch uh, what exactly it does in this Uh, range or area now uh, that's uh, nifty and on the daily and hourly perspective let's take bank nifty 
Now, Bank Nifty yesterday has done nothing as such because RBI policy was status quo. No changes were seen in RBI policy as such. If you see compared to Nifty, Bank Nifty has also undergone a huge fall. Apart from this fall, a bounce back is seen in Bank Nifty as well. But the bounce back in Nifty and Bank Nifty are strikingly different because in Bank Nifty, if you see a continuous up move has happened, but now it has gone in the sideways from last three to four days or so. Right, so there is no steam in Bank Nifty, but there is steam in Nifty. Uh, if you see Bank Nifty, our important crucial level of 24,300-24,400 range uh, is important for us for Bank Nifty to proceed higher. Uh, but seeing the so uh, seeing the way it is being structured right now, uh, it seems less likely for it to breach 24,300 mark. Also, from last three to four days, a continuous selling can be seen around this 24 to 30 odd levels right so even if uh, the rba policy is out no any fireworks were not there so it does not provide a push to bank nifty as of now so we can find a sell off in bank nifty it might bring us back to these levels of 23800 and when we get into the results of hdfc icici bank at the end of october season uh, we will again see a rally in bank nifty it might reach to levels of 24700 or so right but for that as nifty 9960 is important for bank nifty 24300 and 360 point this 24300 to 24400 range is very crucial for bank nifty as well now let's go and see uh, has anything changed on hourly basis on bank nifty because last four days bank nifty has remained stagnant so nothing great uh, has happened in Bank Nifty as such. Uh, if you see, it is clearly, uh, it is very clear that a continuous sell-off took place. A buying came in, then there was a gap-up level, and then after this gap-up level, it has remained in the range bound mode, right? So it has been plus or minus 100, 150 points of Bank Nifty in the range bound mode. Obviously, it will either shoot up or down breaking this consolidation level either breakout might happen on the upside or on the downside uh, so let's wait and watch for things to happen we are clear if it goes on the upside there will be a resistance around these levels if it goes downside it can reach back to the same level from where uh, the buying has taken place and then one more uh, rally can start from this uh, bottom of 23 6, 640 kind of stuff so it can form a double bottom and then an upside rally can be seen in bank nifty so ideally uh, if you see the calendar as well today is 5th october we are done with this week almost next week will be crucial uh, if there is any fall in nifty bank nifty uh, going before diwali and after diwali the result seasons will kick in and the result season are very important so before the early if any fall comes we need to be ready for a quick pullback in the last one and a half uh, week of expiry right so that will be our goal so let us see whether it comes down and if it comes down uh, we would be buyer in some selective stocks as well so that's bank nifty nothing has changed as such uh, right from morning and last three days